This is a demonstration of the Raspberry Pi running XBMC and a TV plugin. Here's my Raspberry Pi right here. As you can see, it has an SD card, and this is the other side of the board. Um, let's see if I can twist it over. Here's the other side of the board, and you can see the SD card is connected in there, running Xabian 1.0 Alpha 4. HDMI is connected there with the Ethernet and the USB is going out to a mouse. Okay. So here is the TV that it's being um, connected to right now. And you can see here that I loaded up the um, the plugin already and started out XBMC. And you see here is the list of the recordings. So you can see I can navigate through the recordings. I can choose the recording that I want to watch. It's a little bit slow at navigating these recording menus. But after I select it, it should start playing. As you can see, it takes a while for it to play. The navigation and response of the UI is kind of slow. Here you go. You can see a snapshot of it and a description of the show, which is the Matrix. Then hopefully I can start playing it. Okay. So it started playing it. As you can see, it's starting to play. And I'm controlling the entire system with this Nexus, with this Nexus 4 phone running the XPMC remote control. It's connected over the network to allow me to control it. So you can see I can pause it. Now it's paused. I can unpause it and I can display various statistics when I call up the display menu. And when I hit info it will display what recordings are um, being record played right now. Okay. I'm gonna stop it now. Navigate back to the main menu of XBMC. Okay, I think a badness happened now. It probably crashed. Nope, it came back. As you can see, when you stop the recording, the UI is very slow to get back to you. Okay, so I'm going to hit back on this. And this is the main menu. As you can see, it's displaying the status of the back end on the upper right. And you can see live TV is displayed on there. And I'm going to navigate into live TV. What I showed you before was a recording. Now I want to show you the TV channels. So using this, you can use it as a Myth TV front end. I chose TV channels there. I'm going to navigate to the channel that I want to watch. And when I navigate to the channel I want to watch, it should start playing for us. So let me find a channel that I actually have so that we can start playing it. Let's see if I have the oxygen channel. Okay. There you go. In the beginning when it starts to stream, it starts to stutter a little bit, but it clears up. There you go. Now it's tuned to the chat channel and it's streaming from the back end. This is the live TV 
display. Now what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to be able to pop.